Well, Conservative MP Michael Chong's had the highest profile private member bill in recent memory, but it's bogged down in the Senate and may not cross the finish line to become parliamentary law before the House and Parliament adjourns. At the center of the Reform Act is a process for caucus MPs to kick a kickstart a review of their party leadership, and there's other measures too. They have some senators pushing back. Michael Chong joins me in the studio. All right, Michael Chong, you went before a committee today. You were predicted to get a rough ride. Did you get one? Uh, there are a number of senators who voiced their strong opposition to the bill, hmm. um, but uh, I believe that the Senate should pass the bill. They've got three and a half, four weeks to pass the bill. They should do that. This bill is not about the Senate. It's about the House of Commons, the elected House of Commons. And the Senate should respect the overwhelming wishes of the elected House of Commons and pass the bill. Now, just to remind our viewers, what was the vote on that bill at the House of Commons level? 260 in favor. 17 opposed. That's an overwhelming result. There are very few pieces of substantive legislation that get through the House with that kind of support. The Senate needs to respect the fundamental constitutional principle at play here. Section 18 of the Constitution Act 1867 and Section 4 of the Parliament of Canada Act make it clear that each of the two chambers in our bicameral Parliament are independent of each other with respect to their own internal governance and their own caucuses. The House overwhelmingly pronounced on how it wants its caucuses mm -hmm. to be governed and how it wants its members to be elected. The Senate should respect that constitutional principle and pass the bill. But what's the logic of them saying no? I mean, it, it looks to me like it's a deliberate slowdown to the point where we end up adjourning to go for the election and the order paper dies. I mean, it looks to me that's what's happening. Why are they doing that? Well, I don't know, and that's a good question, and that's a question Canadians should be asking of senators from the provinces that uh, they represent. Why is this bill being held up in the Senate? This is a democratic reform bill about the elected House of Commons. It doesn't concern the Senate. In fact, the bill amends Part 3 of the Parliament of Canada Act, which has nothing to do with the Senate. Part 2 of the Parliament of Canada Act concerns the Senate. Part 3 does not. It also amends the Canada Elections Act. The Canada Elections Act is the framework legislation about elections to the House of Commons. It has nothing to do with the Senate. The Senate should respect the wishes of the House and pass the bill. You sound very angry. I'm quite upset. This bill reflects the desire of thousands of Canadians who contacted their local members of Parliament and who encouraged them to support the bill. This bill started off from being a long shot to being adopted overwhelmingly by the House. And that was a result of Canadians contacting their MPs and their elected House of Commons responding to that desire for reform. The Senate needs to re respect the wishes of the House and pass this bill. That's why I'm so upset about this. This is about re re responding to and respecting the wishes of Canadians. Ultimately, Parliament is about representing Canadians across this great country. And the Senate needs to reflect on that and pass the bill. And you already amended it. You took some steps to make it more palpable to the for the common side so it's already can it get any more watered down on the Senate side or else does it become meaningless it, any amendment to the bill will kill the bill this bill um, was exhaustively studied debated it's undergone numerous different uh, iterations the house amended it to reflect the input we received from experts from from Canadians and from members of Parliament and the parties themselves. Right. And so this bill really reflects that consensus and I think that the Senate needs to respect that. So what are the upside? I mean, there's the power to have a caucus decide whether to sort of kickstart a leadership review. You've also got the removing or the idea of selecting a caucus chair. That's no big deal to the Senate. Readmitting caucus members. That's no big deal to the senators. And taking the power of leaders to just sort of uh, pick the candidates in an election. Those are nothing to do with the election or the Senate at all. It must just drive you crazy. I agree. And, you know, look, I support the need for a Senate. I, I believe in Senate reform. I think we need to have an accountable and elected upper chamber. That said, I worry about what happens to the reputation of the Senate. It's no secret that the Senate's reputation is, a, is at a near all time low. If the Senate doesn't pass this bill before the end of June, the reputation of the Senate will further diminish in the eyes of Canadians. And maybe become an election issue. Very well, possibly could become an election issue. I know that tens of thousands of Canadians contacted their members of Parliament to voice support for the bill when it went through the House. So I think Canadians are closely watching. It's the Conservatives that are kicking up the fuss, the Conservative Senators over there. Are you sensing the heavy hand of the PMO behind this? I don't know that, but I take the Prime Minister and his Cabinet at their word. Conservative Senators should acknowledge one thing. It is official Government of Canada policy to support the amended Reform Act. The Cabinet decided to support the amended bill.
-hmm. I work closely with, with members of cabinet to amend the bill and the cabinet made a formal decision to support the amended bill. Mm -hmm. Senators should reflect on that when they think about how they're going to vote on this bill if they truly believe in supporting the Conservative government. Final question, is all lost here or could public pressure be mobilized against the Senate and hurry this thing along and get it passed? Absolutely, public pressure is essential. There's a website that's been set up, reformact.ca. Members of the public can go there to email their senators and encourage them to support this bill and get it passed before the end of June. Good luck with that, Michael Chong. Let's keep in touch. Thank you.